Hello and welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the impact of animation in games. I think everyone at the moment sees that games as this big bubble that a lot of stuff happens and then a game comes out and then you play it, right? So I want to talk about specifically about animation. How does that impact a game whenever you are playing it as a player, if you're a gamer? Um, I think it's very interesting and to me this is why I'm an animator. So let's talk about it in this week's episode. If you like games, if you're a gamer, then this video is definitely for you. As a child, when I used to play games, I used to play games and feel amazed f by, the, by the games and the experience and the interactivity, right? And I think that's really important, especially as a child, because it fuels your dreams. So I knew that I actually wanted to actually be an animator. Uh, at the time, I didn't know I wanted to be a, a games animator. But later on, I found out that actually those two passions that I had, games and animation, m match perfectly on gameplay animation. If you're a programmer or if you're an artist, um, different things are going to be important to you. But to me, uh, animation is the most important thing. And the reason why is that whenever you get that controller in your hands, no matter what game you're playing, so I was playing the other day Astro's Playroom on the PS5, the first thing you do is press forward, right? On the character, what happens next? The character starts running or starts walking. That, that is animation, right? So that experience, the direct connection with the player, to me is incredibly important and this is why I think animation is so important and impacts so much of the game because everything you see in um, a game it's made by a lot of people so there's code and there's art and there's animation and a bunch of other things that happen in order to get it into game but what the player perceives whenever they pre play playing the game is an animation the character is moving and doing cool stuff as a matter of what character you are if you're a spider-man if you're swinging through the through manhattan and feeling good and feeling great that stuff feels like his animation because the character is moving around and he's spinning and he's swinging and all that stuff feels like his animation to the point that as an animator you get a lot of bugs that are not yours per se but because they are movement they are perceived as animation so the impact of animation is incredibly broad and it impacts a lot of the game because if you didn't have animation let's say we just take it away and just play the game all characters in all games will be T-posing and just like translating in the world like this. That's what you would get. So this is what animation brings to a game, entertainment. And how entertaining it is, is how much passion and, and, and craft do animators put into each animation. Obviously animation doesn't leave by itself, there's also the technical side of animation implementation, but animation as a whole is in incredibly important in a game and is one of the pillars that actually takes the game from being just an engine to then being a final product, a game, a boxed game that people can actually go and play. So this is the impact of animation from my perspective uh, as a developer into a game. Uh, gamers, maybe as you play, you don't really realize that because there's so many things going around in an engine when you actually go through and play a game. But if you think about your favorite games, Batman or uh, Horizon or uh, Spider-Man, whatever game it is, it's probably a good game, not only because of the story of the game, but also but how the character made you feel and the amount of motion the character had. So Batman, like everyone talks about the fighting mechanics, how good they were. Well, animation, right? So animation is incredibly broad and is incredibly important for a game. And this is why I'm so passionate about it. And I think animation should act always be at the forefront of any game studio, because if you have a good animation team, it can make your game shine like nothing else, right? No matter how many technicalities and coders and, 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 and work you have, but if you don't have a good animation team on your project, your game will not shine as much as the next project that has really cool animations. Even if you look back at games like Super Mario way back in the day, the basic sprite animations, they were very involved and very detailed for a reason, right? Everyone is looking at how Mario actually kind of had so much detail. This is to sell the character of Mario and put personality into the character. Once again, animation. So animation is very important, it's one of the pillars that actually takes a, pro a project forward, a game forward, and actually makes the game feel good. Everyone is talking about the game feel. Animation is definitely one of the things that actually make the game feel good.
Um, I genuinely feel strongly about this and most gameplay animators feel the same way. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And if you guys uh, want to get into animation or gameplay animation, feel free to check out my videos about gameplay animation and how to interview and how to get into the industry because it's a beautiful job and it will actually kind of make you incredibly fulfilled uh, because it takes years and years and years of practice for you to actually get to a good place. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to actually smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and until the next video, stay well, stay safe, peace.